one owner car guy, one owner car guy.com. And what I've got here for you today is the exterior review of this beautiful 1990 Cadillac Seville. It's going to be the exterior, just all around, show you anything wrong with it, anything not factory. Um, it's just as clean as it gets. It's a two or a possibly three owner car. It's only got 69,000 miles. Um, a couple things from a couple people, maybe past the family, I don't know. I know it's a clean caddy. It's got low miles, it all checks out. You can check the ad on my website or on eBay for the auto check or Carfax or whatever we've pulled on it. Um, nice newer tires, like brand newer, and that's about the deal. I'm gonna do kind of a different kind of a review here. Usually on my exteriors, I get right to it. I'm gonna go ahead and show you underneath for the hell of it. Well, actually, no, I'm not, because actually, I wanna do the road test in the middle here. I'm gonna drive to another place. Time of day. On this side of the road, it's just loud as can be. Okay. That guy broke down. Where's the model? 69, 255. Nice cool they see. Now, also, odd to my normal videos. Where does thing go? That's right to the speed limit. Right there, almost. I let off. It was a 38. 37? I don't know. Right in there. Clean as can be. Clean as a whistle. Take you on a test drive back down here. Okay, back down the other way from a rolling like 18. I'm telling you what, the thing gets on it and goes. That's all there is to say about it. It is a smooth driving car, and how much do I believe in this car? I believe in this car so much, my buddy is hopping in it right here, right now. Actually, a couple days. And he is heading out to Edmonton, Alberta from San Diego. So about as far as you're going to go north, from as far as you can get south. Okay, that's zero to 40. Just like that. Look at that's all backed up out there. Glad I'm not out there. It's a Friday. Okay, I'm going to... Just head down here. I'm going across to the church. Do a little bit of town driving. I'm not going to get no closer to him than that. Just showing you that it shifts, up shifts, down shifts, all the kind of shifts that it shifts. I got the window down this time. Let's do it again. That's just right up to it, man. Beautiful day, beautiful car. That's how it runs. I'm going to do the exterior review. 69,000 on one of these. That is barely broken in. You can use the timestamps down below and you can scroll ahead or if you miss something, you can scroll back or what have you. Uh, we're going to do that. We're taking off. We're taking off. Oh shoot, I didn't mean to do that. There's a downshift. Two shift. There you go, Mammy. Yeah, that's right. And you're there. I know my camera work is a little shoddy there. I was just trying to show you what she did. And she, actually, I didn't put my foot all the way into it. That's about halfway. A little dust on the concrete there. Instead of smoke on the water. This car, you know, I've got a DeVille also that's going to be for sale at the same time. It's a 91 DeVille. It's got the Vogue package and pop on it. And basically... You know, it's a sporty little car. This is a lot sportier than a DeVille. It gives you a sporty feel, a sporty type of steering. It's a sporty car. So, you're getting the city driving, you're getting this, check the brakes out. There's a nice pump on them. Like I say, I trust this car enough that my buddy is hopping in it and he is driving to Calgary, Alberta. Edmonton, Alberta, there you go. 
I don't know where he's going. I'm going up there someday. Check some stuff out. I've never been up there. Water bottle. Okay. Church parking lot is where I do the exterior videos here. And you got the test drive before the exterior. You can put my seatbelt on here. Jeez, man, you just get on it a bit, and this thing's just snot rip roaring to go. It really, really is. Ye Hamana. Okay, I'm gonna park in a nice little spot like I like here, and we're gonna get out and start going around this thing. I'll do the interior later. Um, there is one warning on it. I just ran out of fuel. There's another warning. Um, I don't know how to find it. Um, it's the, um, well, I got the engine RPM when I was doing it there. Coolant, bolts. Um, there's a problem, not a problem. There's a, um, it needs washer fluid. It's the only coat I've got there. It's a nice driving car. I'm going to go ahead and... Actually, I'm taking them and put them in my pocket. Okay, let's get to looking around this car. First off, first slam, down under, show you the underneath. That's the neat thing. If you're in Canada, this is coming your way. Look at that pan. Look at everything under here. Clean as can be. Look at the frame and stuff. Just look at the metal. A little patina on it from like little parking curb scrapes and stuff. But this thing's clean as can be. That's detailing stuff dripping down there. Um, I'm sure you get a damp gasket like you can see there, just slightly damp. But we've driven this thing around town and it's as nice as it gets. So let's do a once around out here a little bit. I'm just gonna shoot you down the side, start showing you the car. That's all there is to say about it. Tires, let's just start there. Tires are Arizonian Silver Edition, little titties all over the side. Newest tread you can imagine. Beautiful. Coming down this side, this is the only damage on the car I've found. A little bumpy bump there. We kind of straightened it out a bit, but there's a chip there in there that I believe Chip Dent, you can go to Chip Dent's detail, is going to touch that up just a tad. And I'll show you under the hood why this is just down just a hair. That's the only damage. You'll see there, it's got a scuff going along there from it. That's what he did. This piece here, this could be, I hate to just pop a screw in it, but that's a pretty simple fix. <laughs> Hard to get much simpler than that. Going down this car, it's just straight as can be besides this. There's just, I don't, I'm sure there's door dinging here and there. In fact, I just seen a little one there and there. A little one there. That's about it. To a water spot. We just washed it. Oh, only ding. There's a dent, ding right there. Little touch up. Same on the bumper. Right here, these little chips. He put a little touch up on it. <clears throat> so, and actually, my buddy's keeping the frames on him. Other than that, this car is ready to go. Straight as can be going out of sight. Even the pinstriping still looks good. Glass looks good. All the trim below looks good. These here are just water spots that kind of blew out from when the water dripped. All this stuff down here just looks great. I'm trying to think. Oh, roof. Roof. Look at the clouds are reflecting. I can be here see. Glass. You know, I'm sure there's a little that kind of mark. I don't know if you can even see that. There's a couple of them in it here and there, but no big chips or anything. Uh, sorry, my hands are filthy. I've been working on this stuff all day. Cleaning it, scrubbing it. There wasn't much scrubbing to do on this one. I got all kinds of them over there. There's plenty of scrubbing to do. Check out oneownercarguy.com and you'll see all kinds of stuff on there. And this car is going on there. However, my buddy is exporting it to Canada. I'm trying to figure out the Canadian export. We got the Canadian connection going on. Let's go down this side. Look at the grill. It's in great shape. Uh, 
little gouging gouge mark right there and there. Uh, a couple little marks here and there. It could use a, a good polish. Um, a little stuff there. A little scratch right there. It could come out a bit. We did not polish this car. Teensy, teensy something right there. Right there, but you can't really see it. A little scratch on there. And where your nails go when you grab a hold of that. Um, as far as dings, but a little piece of it right there too. This is just water spots. Still got water coming off of it. Um, it's just clean as can be. Dings. I don't see any on this door. Just say there's something somewhere. I know there's got to be one on this door. Come on, Dean. Oh, there's one right there. And, I don't know, something else. Rocker panels and stuff look great. Look at the chrome on this. This looks good. Small body. Now, look underneath this car. This is what you're not going to get in the Northwest. Montana, Minnesota, Canada, all that. Just clean as can be. Oh, it wells on this car. All the undercoating and stuff. This is not a rusted out thing. This is a. This car, this car lasts a long time, buddy. Look at this. Sorry, but you ain't gonna find this in the Pacific Northwest. Everything under here wouldn't be patina. You'd be rusting. Rusting! But it ain't. Little. Did I just see a little kind of a scuff there? Roof looks great once again. Um, the way the day is, I may as well show you the top um, of the motor. So I'm going to do that right now. And I'm going to shut this off, come right back. Okay, I shut that off. Actually, took my battery out and let my camera cool down just a tad. Because I got that kind of deal here. And my camera needs to cool down. Oh man, I can never remember how to open all the different gears. I've got four caddies in this range right about now. You can get the sun picture now. 4.5 liter, one of the best motors they ever made. My favorites are the 4.5 and the 4.9. Just great motors after the they learned from them 4.1s and 4100s. Um, this car is clean as can be. Let me get this off my neck. Still got original stickers everywhere. I'll show you this in the interior video as well. Uh, and that is that. Okay. I can't think of anything else here. Look at the original padding. And I'll show you this at night as well. Um, that's the deal. Just, oh. Why that's off a little bit. Wherever they smoosh that, this piece here has been just a tad. A qualified body shop could fix that just a little dent repair type guy. And it just needs to be aligned just a little bit. I'm not that guy though. Okay, absolutely beautiful car. I'm gonna snap a couple more pictures. That's your exterior review. Nathan, 406-546-8748. You can call me anytime. Other than that, thanks for watching. Have a great day or night, whatever it is wherever you are, www.oneownercarguy.com. It's getting ready to head back. Sun popped out. Just looked totally beautiful out. I figured I'd get you an up close look over here at this wheel and kind of just the sunlight on it. The grill's got a slight little crack in right there. Just wanted to show that. I've seen that. I'm going to take you back to the over there and I'll show you the white DeVille probably. Um, so this will be a test drive and exterior video. And I'm gonna do a, that's the bad thing when you take them with you, then you gotta find them. So I'm gonna do an interior video. You've got the chip key, alarm type thing. This car just runs great. Oh, you know what, let me show you this. So you start it up, you put everything, all these lights come on. Start this up, boom. I want to make sure you see that. Low windshield washer fluid. Check driver information center comes up here. You go ahead and you hit 
reset that comes up pops the date which is not the date and that goes out so that's your only real warning on it four-speed overdrive transmission with the console shifter I love seeing that hood ornament and you know the hood ornament with that sporty feel I just got there up to 25 miles an hour like that it's just something else. The sporty feel of the Cadillac is just where it's at. And we're confident in this car. He's going to, I mean, it's, uh, I know it's 30 something hours. I figured he's gonna be on the road like 35 hours or something. I don't know, I haven't drove that far. I go to Missoula, Montana. Traffic's are crazy. I didn't think I'd be sitting here this long for you, sorry. Beautiful day though, you can look at sunny San Diego. Man, it just, it just goes. This car just goes. Look at that S car go. It is a Seville, so it is an S car. Hey there. Okay, enough playing around. Uh oh, there's the sheriff. He is the sheriff of this here town. He is too. Okay, back at the place here. Gonna do this to this. Leave this here. I'm gonna get out. I'm kind of in a hole. I'm in a weird hole. I am. I'm gonna get out anyways and show you this thing here. See, I'm in a weird gutter hole. But that's the car. I'm gonna go ahead and show you the others. I got all kinds of, there's a Bulls 88. 45 up there. All kinds of stuff back here. Old Aurora. Definitely screams an era, I guess, but these grandpa sure does. As I'm coming back here, I realize that the the mid-80s to mid-90s era is definitely represented around here. Here's the car. I had a dead battery on it. Um, I replaced um, plugs, wires. Look at the continental package. Sorry about the charger cord. It has the Continental kit of front Vogue package tires. There you go. 4.9 in this one. Um, and look at this thing. Clean as, it, clean as it can be. That's all there is to say about it. Okay, well, that's the video. Thanks for watching. All kinds of cars. One motor car guy. Um, seriously. Anything you need, check out that website. Check out mobile. Watching, we'll talk to you. Excursion coming up. Yeah, buddy.